Hello my friends, welcome to Brown Strings. I'm Henriette and today we are playing a holly jolly Christmas. Will you join in with me right from the word go? We're playing it together from the start. We're playing also with the repeat. One and two. <laughs> song I love this one so uh, you may have noticed me playing almost every single quaver separate bows and we're playing them all in swing rhythm that means that they're not even in the beginning we're playing see long short long like that um, then at the end of each phrase I do tie in some more notes so you get at the end of line one you get slow those. This is what you often get in, in songs that you can sing when you play them on your instrument. Uh, we would normally play that separate bows but it just doesn't work so that's why I'm slurring it and I'm doing that at the ends of phrases. So when you have an upbeat like in this at the beginning and you get an upbeat many times I'm playing the notes separate bows but at the end of phrases I slur them. So let's go from the beginning and just explore what happens where, shall we? So I'm starting on separate bows. Let's go just a fraction slower so that we can work those things out. One, two, three. <laughs> to the lower half ready to play that upbeat that's it now I'm going to retake the bow so the next note is a down bow again I play the first A on an open string and the second A in the third position, second finger on the D string. So I'll play you this. This is the third bar in line three. Second finger. And now I'm going to stay in the third position. I'm playing this in the third position is that I find this much nicer sounding than this. So I'm crossing the strings all the time if I play it in the first position you see. So that's why I'm playing it in the third position. Let's go back now to the third bar of the third line. One, two, three, four. to the first position and 
and again here I'm using the fourth finger I'm staying on the D string if possible so these last two bars avoid playing an open A string if you can um, but play the fourth finger instead good carry on And the advantage of that is that your two notes are then on adjacent strings. You don't want to go, or worse, skip a string when you slur it. No, fourth finger instead. So let's now go, this is a bit of a silly place, the penultimate line. So this is line five, three, four. videos I have said try to finish down bow whenever you can because then you've got a more natural diminuendo I think this is just a jolly piece it's just a festive ending when you end on a crescendo this time that's really really nice in this piece so once we've got all that let's put it all together shall we so let's play it again from the beginning and we're playing it slightly faster this time so make it as jolly as you can. One, two, questions or comments do please use the comments section below if you want to find out a little bit more about position playing or about vibrato do check out the links that I've put in the description below as well to my vibrato video for instance and uh, for now I'd say I look forward to seeing you again in the next Christmas Carol lesson and of course I wish you a very Merry Christmas goodbye <laughs>